What's up, guys? It's your boy Chillin' at Rabbits here. I got done watching. She Hulk episode 7. And I'm gonna say it nothing freaking happens in this. Like, at all? Nothing happens? Episode 5 teased Daredevil. That seemed, yeah, that seems freaking cool. People are hyped for that. No, guess what? We get two episodes that are filler. Episode six was at her, was her at a wedding, and episode seven is just her getting therapy and sleeping with some guy. It's like, why? Just give us what the people want. <laughs> this show, I'm gonna say it. Endor, I think, is more entertaining than She-Hulk. Okay, episode four. Spoilers if you haven't seen. Oh wait, I covered episode four. But episode four was pretty good. I love the Star Killer outfit thing in the background. Then, bro, my boy's canon. Let's go. No, I'm just kidding. Force Unleashed is a pretty good game, but I love how they're making it canon to the, the to Star Wars, which is <laughs> nice touch. I know he was in the Lego game for Star Wars, uh, Lego Star Wars: The Clone Wars, and it was the third Star Wars game where he was uh, playable as a guest character. They also had a poly bag for Star Wars The Force Unleashed. And they ported the first Star Wars Unleashed game to Switch. That, that's pretty big on them, you know? Besides that point, Star Killer. I love how they're making his armor cannon. But nothing happens in She Hulk. Nothing happens. Again, isn't she supposed to be a superhero? And what are the comments that I'm seeing in this show? Apparently, is what reality is she in? Apparently, is there no superheroes in the world because they mention the Avengers? It's freaking dumb. <laughs> Peace, guys. See you next time.